Hi guys, welcome to another video of Physics 2. Uh, in this case, we, I'm going to talk about the, that one dimensional motion graphs. So I know that, I mean, I made just three videos before position versus time, velocity versus time, and acceleration versus time graphs. Okay. Um, I just wanted, I just felt that another video was necessary. I mean, in this video where I'm not going to make some formulas or operations. I mean, I believe those things are important, but far from that, I believe that if you really understand what we did, I mean, you are far beyond of what you were in the beginning. I always tell my students, uh, it's, it is good to mechanize and do all the procedures, but if you could really, really understand, and then you made it, because not many people understand what we're doing. Just mechanize some procedures or something that, or something like that. And it's not bad, but of course, I mean, um, you can do better than that. All of us can do better than that. So this video is only for you in order to understand beyond those calculations. So if you really want to stick here, be my guest. Uh, if not, um, okay, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to analyze the different kind of motions that we have. So the first motion that I want to share with you is, whoa, uh, when the body is not moving, that means uh, there, is no pos there is no change in position. If there is no change in position, that means that there is no velocity. So imagine that that body is at here, three meters, okay? And the graph, the body is not moving. So that means that the graph of the position versus time will be an horizontal line, okay? But what, what happens with the time, the velocity, sorry, what happens with the velocity versus time graph if we get this um, body that is not moving, okay? So the velocity will be zero. Okay, because there is no change in position, so it will be zero meters per second. So the graph of velocity versus time will be something like this. Okay, because there is no velocity. And if there is no velocity, if you see, I mean, there is no change in velocity. I mean, the velocity is horizontal. So that means there is no acceleration because remember, the acceleration is the change in velocity through time. So the acceleration will be zero meters per second square and this is the graph of a body that is not moving that is at constant position okay so let's draw the other graphs i'm gonna make it so quickly the second motion that we are going to analyze is the um constant velocity okay so imagine that i have constant velocity i'm gonna write it here this one is gonna be constant velocity okay so if i have constant velocity that means that uh, the graph that i'm gonna have for velocity it will be horizontal because there is no change in velocity although for example if you see this graph over here the velocity is not changing in the previous graph so this could be considered too as constant velocity but when I'm talking about constant velocity, well, I'm assuming that the constant velocity would be positive. So, um, I would say that the velocity, okay, in this case, in this graph, I'm gonna have um, constant velocity, okay? So let's say that I'm gonna have three, three meters per second, okay? And that is going to be constant velocity oops so remember that the graph for constant velocity will be an horizontal line okay so imagine what will happen with the position well imagine that that body is going to start at zero meters the position of zero meters and if it has constant velocity well in this case is going to change the velocity sorry the position three meters in one second so every every second this body is going to travel 
three meters. So imagine that I've got one, two, three. I can imagine that I have three, six, and nine. So every second, every second, the position is going to change three meters. So the position will be a straight line, something like this. Okay, it's a straight line. Forget. Uh, sorry if I <laughs> if I didn't do it straight, but it's constant. So that means that constant change. You will see it here. Every second, the position is going to change three meters. So the se the second second it changes three meters, and the third second it changes three meters. Okay. So if there is no change in the velocity, remember. Well, then I'm going to have zero acceleration. This will be the graph for acceleration. And also this could be considered as constant acceleration. But in this case, the acceleration is zero. OK, now in this case, we're going to have constant acceleration. So that means that I'm going to have a positive acceleration or it could be negative acceleration. But in this case, I'm going to draw it. Um, a positive acceleration. So let's say that um, here I got two. Remember the units for acceleration meters per second square. And that acceleration is going to be constant. Okay, so it's going to be an horizontal line. Okay, so that means that the velocity is going to increase two meters per second each second. Okay, so what is going to happen with the graph of velocity versus time? OK, so let's say that I have two here. Two, uh, four. And six, remember the units meters per second. And the motion is going to begin from zero. OK, from the rest. So. And this is going to be one two, three, four, and so on. Okay, as I said before, the velocity is going to increase one meter per, two meter, sorry, two meters per second each second, because the definition for the acceleration is the change in velocity through time. So the graph will be something like this. It will be a straight line. Oops, it will be something like this, okay? Imagine that I, I just draw a straight line. So one minute, the velocity increases two meters per second. The second second, another two meters per second. The third second, another two meters per second. OK, and what is going to happen with the position? Well, just see, in this case, I got constant velocity and the graph increases uh, in, a, in a line. It's a linear equation, let's say. But now that I got velocity that is changing through time, well, this graph is not the one anymore. So I'm going to have a change of the change every second. So if this is a linear equation, well, the other one will, will be a quadratic equation. And the graph for a quadratic equation, well, it's going to be a parabola. So the position versus time graph will be something like this. Like a parabola, OK? Because the position is changing every second, but it's not going to is not changing just one. It's, it's changing twice because the velocity is changing, too. That's because the constant acceleration that we have. OK, so I guess these are the three types of motion, the most important, the one that is when there is no motion, when we have constant velocity and when we have constant acceleration. Of course, remember that I talked about in a previous video when uh, also we can have a change in the acceleration. Um, <laughs> in that case, well, the, the graph of the velocity versus time will be a parabola and the, the graph of position versus time will, will be like a, a third grade equation. Um, I don't remember the name of that uh, kind of graph, 
but it's not going to be a parabola. It's, it's going to be something different, okay? So, well, as I said before, this was just a video to show you, well, what happens with the three graphs, three different graphs that we have in each one of the different type of motion and very important motion in one dimension. Okay. Well, stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.